Alright, another quick little review. This is the Ontario Knife Company SPAX. Now, Ontario's known in the survival and military type circles uh, for the Spec Plus line of uh, knives. And they used to have their own version of the Marine Corps fighting knife, you know, loosely based on the K-Bar, but with their own handle. And so you'll recognize that they use the same handle molds on a lot of their knives. The Spax is a pretty interesting little design. It's it's thick. It's about almost a quarter inch thick, uh, made out of you know quarter inch thick piece of 440 steel, or, or so what they call it SP18 steel, I guess. I don't know. But from Ontario Spec Plus, they call it the Spax uh, Special Purpose Axe. Okay, so it's basically it's a small hatchet with a bunch of other stuff. Uh, the edge design on this I found is pretty easy to sharpen on you know the power sander okay uh, that's what I use on that stuff I'm not a, I'm not a file and whetstone type of guy who's gonna take hours and hours on something uh, you can sharpen this with power equipment pretty easily uh, it has this little crampon type hook here a little pry bar type deal um, it's it's not really weaponized okay if you're going to use this as kind of a weapon i mean yeah you could you could do damage with it the problem is that the the angle of the curvature here is is not optimal it's not if if you want like a a, a tomahawk style thing you you want that to be straight okay so if if i were to redesign one of these and weaponize it this would be straight uh, if you want something that's going to act kind of like as a crampon climbing tool that you would be able to like chunk into a piece of wood. Now this is against the grain on pretty hardened stuff. But if you want to chunk it into something and use it as a grabbing point, then you, you got to have that curvature on there. And that's what that's for. Okay, so if you've got to use this to, to grab or pull or get a grip on something, that that's what it's for. Uh, the other thing is a rescue tool goes this little bar here gives just enough grab to turn gas lines and water lines on and off on exterior type gas and water line type stuff the five-sided wrench here which is what effectively happens here has just enough closure on these two sides to grab is what you find on fire hydrants okay so if you want to get the cap off a of fire hydrant and turn it on you're, you're going to have a hard time getting leverage. You almost want to stick a piece of pipe over this. But if you're really strong, you kind of grab this with both hands, you can do it. Just when you're doing those types of things, you want to be careful that you don't cut yourself while handling it, right? But uh, so as far as a utility chopping tool goes, it's a valid candidate. Now, other valid candidates are going to be a hatchet, which I, I personally think is kind of a distant third. Uh... Then there's the kukri, which is okay, and then there's the uh, tomahawk, which is better as a weapon than as a tool, and then there is, um, oh, some of those Spetsnaz tools, which are so close to this, it's almost the same thing. I mean, the Spetsnaz tools are okay, you know, but they have the hollow handle and all that. I kind of think the Ontario Spax is a little bit better than the Spetsnaz tools. And, and of course then you've got the machetes and the Bear Grylls machetes and things like that. Uh, I, I think those things are a little bit more limited in use, but it's also terrain dependent. If you're in a jungle type area, uh, then the machete makes a lot of sense for its own reasons. Mainly because of the size and reach. Uh, they would end up weighing about the same because it's thin metal, but the size and reach situation is a little different. But for the Pacific Northwest, if you go with the SPACs, you're not doing wrong.